Good afternoon. I am Tori Walker, proud leader of Fairmont Heights High School. I want to welcome parents, family members, friends, invited guests, faculty and staff, and most important, welcome to the class of 2021. Thank you for joining us today in this celebration. All right, guys, good morning. It's good to see you guys as always. So I'm going to give you your assignment for today. If you, matter of fact, it's already in Google Classroom. And then I'll go ahead and assign your asynchronous assignment for Wednesday. Come on, Reed, it's fourth quarter, man. First of all, it's Mr. Reed. And what's the problem with the assignment this time? Cry, baby. You keep giving us all this work. Facts, Reed. You be doing too much. Be quiet. Oh, oh, so I'm doing too much, Emma. Yes. Oh, so you want me to lighten up the work, do you? It seems fair to me. Okay, then. I'll just have to give you two more assignments. Asynchronous assignments. And then they're due today. Matter of fact, I want it by 11.59 tonight. Come on, Reed. You're the worst. That's why you're old and you bald. What? Oh, yeah? Your mama. What'd you say to me? Oh, yeah, I'm telling my mama. Mama! <laughs> mama! Hey, Miss Potts. Good morning, Fairmont Heights. Hey, Hornets. I'm Jaden. And I'm Ray. And this is your weekly update. the senior class of 2021 graduated. Congratulations, seniors. Here's more on that story. This past Tuesday, the trend-setting class of 2021 walked across the graduation stage at Bowie State University. This special group of students began their high school career as the first group to attend the new Fairmont building for their freshman year in 2017. Without knowing what the next four years had in store for them, they embarked on the long journey of high school. While this year didn't go as planned, they certainly made the best of an impossible situation. And those who walked across the stage deserve the utmost congratulations. 2021, graduation marks the end of an important chapter in your lives, but also the start of another. Whether you decide to seek higher education, join the military, or go straight to the workforce, you are now a member of one of the strongest alumni associations in Prince George's County. We are certain that you will all go on to do great things. And remember, the Fairmont Heights community will always be here as support. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Once a hornet, always a hornet. In other news, class of 2022 seems to be happy and eager to be the new top class of Fairmont Heights High School. Members of this class seem to be walking around with a little bit more confidence these days, as we should. Students, this is another reminder that it's time to register for summer school. More information will be found on our school website. Don't wait until it's too late. Attention Fairmont, we want to give a special shout out to Ms. Deja Tunstall as she has just graduated from grad school and has been inducted into the National Honor Society. We see you girl. We also want to give a special shout out to Mr. Clark. He just became a grandfather to a healthy, beautiful baby girl. Congratulations, Mr. Clark. Students, the fourth quarter progress report grades have been released online today. May 31st, all schools and offices will be closed for Memorial Day holiday. Did I just hear a three day weekend? Wednesday, June 15th is the last day of school for students. It will be here before you know it. Students, the registration information for virtual summer learning can be found on Fairmont Heights School website. Go check it out. 
Dr. Golson recently announced Summer Learning Spark. It's the 2021 PGCPS Summer Learning Programs, which will offer pre-K through 12th grade students opportunities for acceleration, enrichment, intervention, credit recovery, and original credit. This year's programs are available to all students at no cost and offer flex flexible scheduling, including in-person, virtual, or hybrid. Sign-up information can be found online. Lastly, there will be movie nights every Friday starting June 4th at 8.30 p.m. at the Bowie Bay Sox Stadium. Tickets are $30. You guys have fun. And once again, I'm Ray. And I'm Jaden. And this was your weekly update. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and give us a follow on Instagram. It won't hurt. And have a great weekend from my heights. Good afternoon, family, friends, staff of Fairmont Heights, and of course, the class of 2021. My name is Katie Lazo, and I am honored to be here today as your salutatorian. First, I'd like to thank my parents for supporting and raising me to be who I am today. We're finally here, as my parents would say, lo que te cuesta se aprecia, meaning the harder you work, the more you appreciate, like it is for us today. After all these years, we're finally graduating. We started high school as the underdogs, battled to get a class sponsor, had trouble raising money for our class, and endured the pandemic. A special thank you to our class sponsor for stepping up for our class. These obstacles brought us closer. We should be proud. We are the first class in eight years to have two female valedictorians. Class of 2021, before I go, I'd like to leave you with this. No entremos a esta nueva etapa con límites en la mente. Let's not enter this new chapter with limits in our minds. As my parents say, this change will make us work harder and be more appreciative. Thank you. Hi, I'm your Maryland State Senator, Malcolm Augustine. Congratulations on your graduation. Class of 2021, this has been a very, very challenging year. There's been a lot of loss, a lot of things that were missed, but you've persevered and you made it and you graduated. And we're very, very proud of you. Hornets family, I know the future is bright because of you. We're really excited to see the things that you are going to accomplish and we are here to support you in it. And we are so very proud and I congratulate you again and wish you all the best in your future endeavors. And now for Rena Markel moment. Today we are gathered to, hello, are you thirsty? Thank you. You look thirsty. And that has been a Rena Markel moment. Good afternoon, families, staff, guests, and most importantly, the graduates of the class of 2021. My name is Dr. Bullock, and I have been blessed to serve you, some of the most resilient and graceful young people I have ever worked with. I leave you with a quote fitting to your most recent high school experiences. Mountains can crush or raise you, depending on which side of the mountain you choose to stand on. Richard Evans. Your presence here today is evidence that you have chosen to not allow the mountain to crush you. During this generation-defining pandemic, you have shown strength and dedication that many adults could only hope to exhibit. While your senior year of high school was most certainly unconventional, be grateful for the experiences as they have undoubtedly, as they will undoubtedly shape your character. As you go on to the world beyond high school, use that same drive to be the trailblazers we know you can be. So without further ado, will the class of 2021 please turn your tassels from left to right. Hello, I am Tori Walker, proud leader of Fairmont Heights High School, where every day I am leading adults to lead students to greatness virtually or in person. Congratulations to the class of 2021. 
It was four years ago that you entered into the new Fairmont Heights High School as freshmen. We are truly going to miss you and we wish you the best in the future.